Hi, I'm Robert. I'm with Klippel from Germany. So we're a manufacturer of test and measurement equipment, but the main idea of all Klippel was doing a nonlinear loudspeaker control. And this is what we have here on display. That's the first nonlinear control algorithm for speakers in, in the world. So, and this has some, uh, a lot of advantages. So a speaker is a highly nonlinear system. It produces a lot of distortion and we have a full model of the speaker. We have a digital twin just on this chip or any other chip, it's, it's basically just code. And just from measuring voltage and current that's going into the speaker, we can uh, correct for the distortion, we can make sure that the speaker is protected. So I can just give you a quick demo here. So we have a, a closed speaker system here on display. Um, this one, uh, like the natural response is pretty boring actually. It doesn't give you any bass. So I will try to put this to the microphone. So we can just use a classic EQ to boost the bass uh, to get a better bass sensation, but something happens then. So that's some nasty distortion going on because we're driving, we're overdriving the speaker already due to the low frequencies. So I'm now turning on the KCS algorithm. So we got some really good bass now, undistorted, and here we can make sure that the voice call displacement, which is synthesized just based on voltage and current, stays within the displacement limits that we set for this speaker. So, this is an adaptive system. If temperature changes, the speaker is getting older. No problem, we all got it. Thank you. Yeah, you can find some more information on www.clipple.de.